Hey everybody, this is Rykard here again, and it has been a very, 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 very long time since I've done one of these videos. But welcome to part 17 of my Leaf Green Trades Only playthrough. Um, the reason why this was disbanded, like, almost exactly a year ago was because I got very frustrated with this particular episode. Because it was just very difficult to find and catch all the different Pokemon that I need to for the upcoming trades. But today, hopefully in this episode, we are going to be able to catch three of the Pokemon we're going to be trade for, or going to need to trade for, and actually be able to trade for one of them much later in this episode. But the first thing that we need to do now that we've hit Fuchsia City is to head over, not that way because I'm an idiot, to the Safari Zone because we actually need to get a couple of things. As all of you know who've played through this game before, um, we need to get the Golden Teeth for the Warden as well as needing to get to the end of the Safari Zone in order to catch or sorry, not catch, um, to get the HM for Surf, and then at the same time also be getting the HM for the Strength from the Warden after we give him his teeth. Um, but here we are, we are in the Safari Zone right now. We are going to play a game, um, and this should be pretty fun. Also, there is one Pokemon in this area that we can potentially catch. I'm not going to be looking for it right now, just because there's a few other more important things to do at the moment, but um, if I remember correctly, you do go right. I could be wrong, but I, I think I remember my way around the Safari Zone from the last time I played this game, like, years ago, um, but we'll find out. So here we got a pincer, unfortunately that is not on our list, but that is very cool. Uh, however, we're just going to run from all of these battles because we have no use for any of these Pokemon. Um, and then I think the, pr or sorry, before the next episode happens, we do a bit of grinding because there's a couple Pokemon that I need to... Uh, New Flower Store is always good. A couple Pokemon that I need to get up to a little bit higher level so that they evolve so that I can trade for them, which is going to actually be uh, a Slowpoke, which we're going to be looking for later in this video, but I think I know exactly where it is. Um, Slowpoke needs to uh, obviously evolve to Slowbro for us to trade him or her, and that I think happens at level 37 if I just checked and those facts are correct. So that's going to just take a little bit of time to do, but I'll do that off screen so none of you have to worry about that, but I will actually show the trading on screen. Um, I know I'm missing a couple items here, but I really don't care that much. Um, is this where I need to be? This is what I think I need to find? That's a quick claw. Okay, well that could actually be very useful later. Um, this actually might take one or two tries just because I'm not 100% sure if I remember the way around here. Um, but I think I am going the right way. Uh, let's see. Paris, nope. So the one Pokemon that we can find in here that we are going to need is a Venonat. Um, that only happens, I think, in the first and third areas, if I also, you know, double-checked correctly right there a second before I started this video. Um, but the, there are a few other places where we can find Venonat anyway, so it's not that big of a deal. The reason why this... Um, Venonat was actually the reason why this whole thing sucks, because Venonat has a very low catch chance, I believe. Um, I think these are the Nope, that's Steel Wing. Okay, that could also actually be very useful for Farfetch'd. Um, protein, cool. Um, what's over here? Just a house. Alright, um, but yeah, Venonat has a very low catch chance, if I remember correctly, and I just couldn't find one. And I was recording a video for like... Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Well, if we catch this, we can't use it. We have just have to release it anyway. So don't get caught. Uh-oh. Well, <laughs> I caught a Rhyhorn anyway. <laughs> Alright, well anyways, we're not going to use that, I'm just going to box that as soon as I uh, get back to <laughs> um, my, no I would not, um, get back to the Poker Center, but anyway, <laughs> complete accident. Um, so yeah, so Venonat was the reason for my angst, I think this is it, there they are, okay. Gold Teeth, we found that, and now all we need to do now is go to the last house, which is right up there. Um, we got Double Team, which could also be very fun and annoying to use. But I think this has been a successful Safari run. And here we go. We are the first person to reach the Secret House, although I made a campaign, campaign or grant opening. It's getting word that no one would find the campaign prize. And now we have Surf, which is very important because we are actually going to need this to go and catch a Slowpoke in just a second. 
Um, we're gonna have to make a trip to Viridian City. Um, cue the music, obviously. You know the we're on the road to Viridian. Anyways, um, very good song, by the way. <laughs> really speaks to me. But anyways, um, I don't even know what else to do in here now. I think I'm just gonna kill time. But um, I, maybe we can find a um, Venna. I don't know if this is the right area though. I don't think it is. Uh, it says that it's in the first and the third area. What I'm looking at, so. Um, I don't think this is the third area, but we could try. Um, but either way, we're going to need to go do that. Actually, you know what? I'm just going to kill time. I don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> um, but yeah. All right. How many steps do we have left? We have 52. Let's just kill it off. 17. And then we should be good right here. Here we go. All right. So successful safari run. Um, I'm actually going to go teach Steel Wing to Farfetch'd right now, um, because that's actually very important, so I'm going to go do that. Because I don't think any other Pokemon we're getting actually can make use of that, or unless he already has it, but I think I need to teach him this. Because, I mean, it'll allow him to hit a Rock-type in case I need him to. Um, which TM was Steel Wing? There we go. So we're going to give this to Chiding. Which Ding already knows for moves. Yes, which move should be forgotten? Actually, see, <laughs> I want to get rid of Cut really badly, but I can't. Oh, I can get rid of Fury Attack, I guess. I don't know. Because Fury Attack also lands crits all the time. But I feel like at this point in the game, it's not really too useful, so... And Cut's only 50 base power, right? Yeah. So, we're going to get rid of Fury Attack, um, and we are going to give him Steel Wings so that he could potentially... Oh, wow, this is a long cutscene. <laughs> I didn't realize that. Oh, I can cancel out of it. Okay. Alright, so we caught... <laughs> we caught a Rhyhard ride, ride accidentally, so I'm going to go put that away, because uh, I should not have that. Um, man, this city was just poorly designed. <laughs> like, if you don't have cut, <laughs> you're screwed. <laughs> Alright. Uh, so, let's see. Alright, so we're gonna go to the dude first. Um, I think this is his house, I believe. Yep. Okay. So we're gonna give the goat teeth to Warden. Um, popped in his teeth. Thanks, son, you're a real lifesaver. No one could understand a word I said. I was too ashamed to show up. Okay, so let me give you something for your trouble. He gives us strength. Um, see, I don't know why it says that, because obviously if you found the gold teeth, you can find the, um, secret house. But anyway, um, the HMs are at the top because they have to make my life difficult after I was all the way at the bottom. Alright, so we are going to teach this to Mr. Nito right now, um, because we are going to need this momentarily. Um, and yes. We are going to forget Horn Attack. So now Mr. Nito forgot Horn Attack, and now it can move boulders. I gotta remember to cancel that. Um, so we now have him learning Strength. Um, and in just a second, actually, we are going to... Actually, I'm going to save Venonat for last, because that's the problem, Pokemon. Oh, but anyways, we're going to get this rare candy right here. Gives you an immediate use for strength, right? As soon as you get it. I wish you could run in houses. I guess that's only a 5th gen thing. Um, but actually, we don't need to go there. Um, we're going to fly now. We're going to fly all the way to Viridian City. Because we, there's a Pokemon Center right there, obviously. And we'll just get re or, uh, put right in front of it, which is always nice. Uh, we got to put Rhyhorn back in the box, unfortunately, along with my... Ivysaur, I believe, right? Deposit. And, oops, I went one too far. Store. Box one. Yep. Okay, my Ivysaur is in there. All right. So, now that we're in Viridian City, though, um, we can finally catch a Poliwhirl or a Poliwag. Preferably a Poliwhirl, though, um, because then we don't have to worry about leveling it up once. But that could, I guess, be fun in a way. But okay. So, who is the weakest Pokemon on this team? Probably Farfetch'd. 
So hopefully I won't kill it with this guy. And I could always steal wing because that's not very effective now that I taught it that. Um, but we are going to take the super rod, I believe, right here in this little pond of water. And we're just going to fish and hope we get some good Pokemon. Nope, not even a nibble. Let's try this one more time. There's a 40% chance to catch a Poliwhirl and a 40% chance to catch a Poliwag. So we have an 80% chance to catch something that we're looking for, which is very nice. Um, nope. Man, we just there is no fish here today. Ooh, yeah, we got one. All right, what is it? We got a Poliwhirl. Awesome. Okay. So let's hope we can catch this. And it's actually level 30, which is really nice. I, I like that a lot. Okay. Um, we're going to weaken it with a cut. Hopefully you're not a jerk, Farfetch'd, and crit this Poliwhirl. Oh, he can crit you, though. <laughs> but because of your stick being awesome and the best item in the game, um, just don't crit him. Oh, that was a crit. Okay, cool. And that's pretty decent... Uh, range of HP, so let's just throw a ball and hope we get it. Oh no, he broke out. Okay, we gotta try this one more time. Um, oh, he put me to sleep. What a jerk. To the good thing though is that he can't put anything else on my team to sleep because of sleep claws, because that affects in game, right? Um, Do we get it? No. Okay. We're going to get this. Otherwise, we're going to go ha we're gonna have to go to the Poke Mart and try this again. Um, but it's it's nice that I found a level 30. I think that's actually the max level you can find this guy, which is really cool. Uh, which means that when I just trade it in a second... Yeah, we got it. Okay, awesome. Alright. So, we are going to now... Not nickname it, but we are going to do something with this. So I initially wasn't going to do this because, as many of you know, Nido King can actually learn Surf. However, now that we have this nice Polyrath over here, we could or Poliwhirl, we could just teach it Surf, and then we can use this once it knows Surf to go Surf on this water and hopefully catch a Slowpoke. Uh, we'll get rid of Rain Dance. I mean, it doesn't matter, because <laughs> I'm going to get rid of this thing in a minute. Um, but we... Right, cool. Poliwhirl learns Surf. Nice. Okay. And now we're going to Surf on this water, and I believe... Oh, wait, I can't Surf yet! Ha ha! I need the gym badge. <laughs> that explains a lot. Well, actually, first thing before we do this is go to the Mart. We're going to get some Pokeballs, just because I don't know how difficult it is to be are going to be to um, catch these dudes. So let's just get like 10. 11 works too. And we're going to premiere ball for that too. Oh wait, that's something else I think. Alright, so I lied. Um, we're not going to catch Slowpoke right now, but now that we have Poliwhirl, um, we can at least sort of use that in battle too. But we actually need to now go to the Fuchsia City Gym, which is something that I was not expecting to have to do. Um... So, we're going to keep that on Poliwhirl. I don't want to level up, or I don't want to evolve Nidoking just yet. Nido Reno just yet, sorry. It will become Nidoking, though. But I guess we're going to go back to Fuchsia, guys. Change of plans. Um, so, we're going to first uh, go in here and heal my uh, Farfetch from its sleep condition. Um... One thing to also point out is that Mr. Mime will just wreck this gym by itself. Like, there's nothing really else to it. Um, which is kind of awesome because Mr. Mime is, you know, a beast. And obviously this is the poison type gym, so we can pretty much just run a train through this with, far with Mr. Mime. So because that is the current case, and because of the fact that it's actually the highest level right now, I am actually going to opt to try and use it as little as possible. Oops, okay, so we're just going to head over to Koga. Actually, we might as well just save it for Koga and just battle all these guys on the way. So we got our first trainer gym battle. Uh, we got this juggler over here. By the way, guys, I can juggle. It's a fun fact. Um, ooh, wait, this was a thrown for a loop right now. We actually 
don't even have a use for using um which I'm gonna call it just yet um for using Mr. Mime just yet um because this is a psychic type how much is this gonna do yeah farfetched use that stick man all right headbutts meh, decent amount because um hypno is more actually no hypno is the same physical and special attack actually so is this going to KO? We get another crit? Nope. Alright, well it looks like one more fly will do it. Which is awesome. Um, we went for a Psychic right there, thank god we went for a fly. See, I wasn't sure if Cut would kill. We got another crit. <laughs> Farfetch'd is the best. Um, we gained the boosted 2,000 experience points. Which is going to bring us almost a level and a half. Look at that. Or we got a level and then half of another level from where we were at. So that's fantastic for Farfetch'd. Um, we're going to head over here. And you know what? It's a lot easier to see the way to go in the original game. Like, in this game, I can't see it. Like, I know the way to go around, but, like, I can't see it for the life of me right now, and it's really bugging me. Um, drowsy. I think I can take a hit from this guy. So let's go for Fly again. Um, kind of our strongest move at this point. Um, unfortunately, Farfetch does not really get anything better. Oh, I missed a fly. Of course I would. And then he goes for the psychic. I'm done. Poor Farfetch'd. Ooh, no, I live with six. Okay, we still got this. Ooh, he's, he raised his physical attack. Good thing he didn't have belly drum, though. That would be bad. Um, all right. Is this going to take him out? Yeah, critical hit, Farfetch'd. You the man. <laughs> um, so why don't people use this thing in competitive battles? <laughs> Or maybe it's just this game that's causing this to happen as much. Alright, I'm not going to go, but I am going to switch out. Um, let's switch on to Raichu, because we do have to trade... Oops, sorry. We do have to trade Raichu once we get to Cinnabar Island, so I'd like to have it around level, like, 30-ish for this situation. Maybe we'll get the static. That'd be cool. Okay, nope. But we got Thunderbolt on here. <sighs> Oh, we got a crit. Wow, lots of crits happening today. Lots of crits. Is that going to level him up? Oh, it didn't level him up, dang it. But it leveled Raichu up, which is really nice. So now I'm level 30, which is awesome. And I was about to use Kadabra. Let's stay in. Raichu can probably take care of business right here. Um, Secret Power actually is probably the better option because um, Kadabra has zero physical defense. Yeah, there you go. Um, why did I teach it that? I can't even remember, because, like, the last time I played this was a very long time ago, but I can't remember why I taught it secret power. Maybe just because I wanted, like, an alternative attacking move other than electric, probably. I can't really imagine other, another reason why, but... Dang it, Raichu, look at you, critting everything. <laughs> Who says that level difference matters in this situation? What, Drowsy was like... Oh, actually, it was just one level. I got 38 was the Hypno. I'm a liar. Alright, it's... So why are all these things I'm fighting psychic types when Koga is clearly the poison gym leader? There we go. Here's a poison type. Oh, uh, but we're going to get intimidated. That sucks. Um, but now we actually can switch out, though. I'm going to go into Nido Reno And shift out. Mr. Nido. Oh, uh, he put me to paralyzation. I was about to say put me to sleep. He paralyzed me with glare. Um, dig. Hopefully I don't get... Oh, wow, paraflinching. These are some advanced tactics right here. Alright, well, he can't poison me, so that's good. Alright, so let's not get parried on the next turn. I think we should be able to one-shot. Actually, no. Our buck's pretty decent in defense, so we, we'll probably just... It'll be like a two-shot, and I'll, like, go for strength on the next turn or something um oh wow that didn't do anything okay well let's try not to get two pairs in a row then no pair on the next turn it always bugged me when i played through this game if you got paralyzed in like the second turn because it's like well i already dug underground just let me attack <laughs> you know um there we go we took it out unfortunately nito reno is not as cool as raichu or farfetch so he he gained no critical hits in that battle. Um, but yeah. Um, let's switch out. Actually, no, let's go into Mr. Mime right now just because I got the magical leaf. 
I believe I still have that. Actually, no, it doesn't matter because Psychic's more powerful. But he's actually about to level up, so... That's one of the cool things about... Oh, no, it's, it's more powerful now because I only have Psybeam. Um, I probably should one-shot Sandslash, honestly. Oh, wow, no, it didn't. Hopefully he doesn't have... Okay, Poison Sting is decent. That'll do, like, 15. 7, okay. Sweet. I'm debating if I do this battle, the lead with Mr. Mime, and just set up the Reflect or something to, like, kind of be a little bit more strategic. But, um, who knows? Mr. Mime is now level 36. He's clearly surpassing everyone, and he's trying to learn Trick. The only thing is that Trick does not really have a use in uh, this type of battle. Because it's not like I'm crippling a Pokemon for the entirety of the battle. It's more like one battle. Um, so, unfortunately, Trick is not useful in a playthrough of the game. However, it's a very nice move to have in competitive battles, as many of you know. But this should one-shot the Arbok, yep. And that is... Oh, did Mr. Mom... Like, he's going to level up next... Yeah. See, that's the greatest thing about this boosted experience thing, man. Um, it's so nice to just be able to level stuff up so quickly. Um, how do I do this? I think I'm going the right way. Um, I'm just kind of <laughs> ballparking where I need to go right now. Um... But I think I'm going the right way. Alright, so we have one more dude left, and then we can fight Koga. But, uh, this, uh, Sandslash, no, actually, you know what, no, 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 we're going to switch. Um, let's actually go into Poliwhirl, might as well use him, because we have him. Um, and this is totally legal, by the way, because I am going to trade Poliwhirl, so it's not like I'm cheating right now. Um, because I am using, allowed to use the Pokemon that I'm going to trade for as a way of leveling them up, obviously, um, because they clearly need to be leveled up so that they can be on par with the other Pokemon that I get when I finally trade for them. Wow, that did, like, nothing. Come on, Polly, really get your act together. We just caught you, you gotta prove your worth. And there we go. Arbok, um, yeah, let's go out to Mr. Mime again, just because it's the best thing to hit this. I know I said I wasn't going to use it as much, but it, it is the best thing to hit this. So rather than um, actually catch Venon at this episode, since we're doing Fuchsia Gym, we're going to actually save that for next time, um, because Venonat's a punk, and I hate it. Um, but what we're going to do then after we finish off Koga we are going to head back to Viridian City, now that we can surf, catch a Slowpoke, then go to Celadon City, Cerulean City, Cerulean, not Celadon, and go trade this Polyworld World we just caught for a Jinx, which is going to be awesome, because we are going to have some pretty awesome Pokemon in our party now, once we get that. Um, and, obviously, Jinx is very powerful, has amazing, amazing coverage, um, in terms of, like, Stab, you know, because Ice is Psychic. Uh, which is actually really freaking especially good in Gen 1. Um, I'm going to fly. Um, I think I could take this. But another really great reason is that we're going to need Jinx later in the game when we fight Lance because of the dragons and everything like that. And um, no, Farfetch! No! Um, and yeah, Jinx will be very useful against all of them because of having super effective ice beams and whatnot, um, but we're just going to go into Raichu to finish the job here. Um, I should be able to just secret power it. Yep. Um, and that's going to be actually very fantastic to have that Jinx. Um, I, I still haven't figured out which, or how we're going to figure out which are the last ones we use, because I'm going to catch and use every single Pokemon in this game that is tradable, um, but I don't know which ones are going to be like my team, you know. Actually, why did I go for Thunderbolt? It was going to do, like, 30. Yeah. Um, I should have went for Secret Power. I'm an idiot. Let's just see how much this does. Because Raichu technically has the same attack as it does Special Attack. Okay. Um, but, yeah, obviously Stab, Thunder Wave, or Thunderbolt is more effective. Um, I'm just going to keep going for it then. Might as well. Just don't get confused, please. There we go. Secret Power is going to take it out. And that means Raichu is going to level up to 31 now. So it's already gained two levels this episode, which is awesome. Um, 
Yeah, I'm actually very excited for when we get our Electrode, because that's actually be very nice to have such a fast Pokemon on our team. Um, but we should be at Koga right now. I should be able to find... Where is it? This way? What the heck is going on here? I am confused. Apparently this is more difficult than I thought it was. There we go. <laughs> I don't know why that was so hard. Alright, so we're gonna... I think we can take him on since we have Mr. Mime. I don't think it should be a problem. I know his Weezing or Muck is like level 40 or something like that, if I remember correctly. Uh, but shouldn't be too much of a problem. Um, leads off with Coughing. I think there's like two Coughings, a Weezing and a Muck or something like that. Maybe I'm wrong. Um, it might have changed, obviously, from when I played red and blue and yellow, but we'll see. This should do, like, 50. Oh, so close. And that's going to take me out, unfortunately. That's a bummer. Raichu, you fell just short. Um, let's actually just get Mr. Nito some experience right now, because it's going to be easy. I'm going to take just a bit of damage, but it's not going to be terrible. Oh, freaking gym leaders and their things with the potions and the hyper and the... Healing and the paralysis. Sis, sis, sis. Okay. <laughs> well, if this was, you know, the original Gen 1, I could go for Dig right now, but unfortunately, we are not so fortunate. How's that for comments? Unfortunately, we are not so fortunate. Alright. I'm just going to go into Mr. Mime after this just to make the job easier. Um, I would like to have. Oh, you jerk. Blowing up. And this is like, oh, and he crit me. There was no way I was going to live that then. And that's the that's the unnerfed or self-destruct right there. Um, all right, Mr. Mime is just going to take it home now. Muck, okay. My hope is that we can two-shot this. Um, as many of you know, this Muck learns Minimize, and it can be very, very frustrating to fight. Okay, Acid Armor. And you know what? Actually... Because we can, I'm going to Encore him right now to p just guarantee that I'm going to kill this thing. Um, because I don't care about Acid Armor. Look at us using more creative strategies than you normally see in-game. I still think the best part of this was when I uh, sub-seeded the... Or, like, something. I growl leech-seeded something earlier with... Uh, my Ivysaur or something like that. I forget what it was. I think it was a Slowpoke, actually. But yeah, I growly seeded it and managed to take it down. I think that was in uh, Mount Moon. Actually. But yeah, this walk is going to go down easy. Alright, well, that is a 3-hit KO. Look at that. Oh, and I got the Confusion, which is awesome. Is he Encored still? Okay. Well, we can just keep Encoring. That's like... The why I feel that is that is just such a strong move because you can always just encore them after it ends if you're faster, which is awesome. Maybe he'll kill himself. That'd be cool. Oop. And then his encore ended. So let's just take him out one more with the side beam, and that should be done for this muck. There's no reason to go for magical leaf there because it probably could have lived it knowing muck. Um, but that is a lot of experience. And I was going to go out into coughing, and I was right about the. Um, Pokemon he has on his team. I can't believe I remembered that. Um, I just remember used or I used to just like always have a Doug trio and just dig everything, and it was awesome. But obviously he can't do that anymore. Um, we should level up one more time after this Weezing, and Weezing cannot handle Mr. Mime, not at all. This is the oh, it's forty three. My gosh. All right, well Weezing special defense is like three, so I think this should actually take it out. Yeah, look at that. Oh, I got a crit anyway, so. Who knows? Um, but there we go. And now we have defeated the fifth gym leader, Koga. We get the poison gym badge, um, which is going to be very useful, obviously, for continuing our journey to become a Pokemon master, obviously. Um, and now the, the problem is, can I see if I can get out of this place? It also says you surf outside. Take this too. And we received... Is this toxic? Okay. Okay, I'm wondering if there will be a Pokemon that I can actually use Toxic with. 
Like, maybe Farfetch'd or something? Um, like, give it Protect with Tox. I should probably see if I could use that. Um, that'd actually be really nice to have. But anyway, um, okay. So now we're just going to heal up real quick right here and finish the last two things that we need to do for this episode, which are to catch a Slowpoke and to trade our Poliwhirl for a Jinx. So you're going to go do that right now. And then that should be the end of the episode. Let's just have our trusty Farfetch'd fly us over to Viridian City again. Um, and then surf in the water. I believe it said that there was a 90% chance to catch a Slowpoke here. Um, which sounds pretty probable, but who knows. Um, Um, or does this not happen? Am I just incredibly unlucky here? What the heck? Well, we can surf now. Look at that. Um, it said Viridian City by surfing, I believe. There we go. Okay, let's hope this is a slowpoke. Yep, there it is. We got it. Level 20, which is actually the highest level we can catch it at, which is really nice. We're just going to go for a Steel Wing right here just to do some damage, because this is obviously not very effective, and it's going to bring it down slowly. So I'm going to go for one more, because if I go for two more, I may accidentally crit him on the second one, which would not be good. Um, and I think that's enough. So we're going to go and catch this thing right now. And hopefully... We'll get a first try on like that poly roll, which was so difficult, which took us three shots. And we got it. Awesome. Slowpoke was caught. Cool. And the uh, last thing to do, guys, is to head over to Cerulean. We're not gonna... Now, we need to get the silver up to level 37, as I said before. Um, and to do that, we are going to have to grind just a little bit. Oh, wait, that's not where Cerulean City is. That's Pewter. This is Cerulean. Oh, wait, no. What the heck is this? Oh, wait, you can, right, you can fly to Mount Moon. I forgot about that. Um, but that's going to take a little bit of off-screen grinding, which I'll probably do between the start of this episode, or the end of this episode and the start of the next one. Cerulean City, here we go. Um, and I think it's one of the houses at the bottom. I think it's down here. I think it's that house, actually. Okay, never mind. Uh, I think it's down here. Unless I am a huge liar. I am a huge liar. Is this it? Where's this girl? Is it, It's not this lady, though, right? I think it's... Wait, what is he trading? Oh, maybe it wasn't a girl. Maybe it was a dude. I happen to have a polyroyal. Yes, I would. All right. It was nice knowing you, Polyworld. Um, you served us well in that one time you killed a Sandslash and got poisoned in the process. It was a valiant effort, and I appreciate your contributions to our team. Uh, but that should be... Let's see. That should be the Jinx that we got. And now I'm really happy because this Pokemon is awesome. Ooh, it's called Zinx. Look at that. Um, but that's awesome. Take care. I will take good care of Zinx. I hope to make it proud for you. Alright, now let's just see what we got on this Jinx real quick. Oh, we have mail on it. Let's see what this mail is. That's a healthy Jinx. Be kind to it. Okay. <laughs> um, let's see what we got. Let's hope we have Aurora Beam at least. Okay, we got a Mild Nature. Meh. Um, very high special attack. We got Oblivious, so we cannot be... Unfortunately, we don't have dry skin. Okay, we have powder snow. Actually, no ice punch. Right, ice punch is totally a special move in this game. And we got lovely kiss, which is the big thing. Because um, obviously we want to always be able to put things to sleep. So this will definitely be an awesome contribution to this team. I'm very excited to have it. But that is it for this video, everyone. So I hope you all enjoyed. Um, and I guess next video we will tackle 
getting Venonat. Um, what am I doing here? Um, I have no reason to do that. We'll tackle getting Venonat, and we will head over to Cinnabar, I believe, because that is where the next gym lies. We gotta get. Actually, no, it's not. We gotta go to Saffron City. That's what we gotta do. Um, I forgot about that because we gotta go fight Team Rocket. I think. I don't think I did that yet. So, yeah. Next video, Saffron City. Let's go. And Venonat. Venonat and Saffron City. But as always, everybody, take care. Thank you all for watching, as always. And I hope to see you all next time. And I hope you're all glad that I'm continuing doing this because it's been a very long time since I have. But I hope you enjoyed the rebirth of my trades-only Leaf Green playthrough. Thanks, everyone.